What's up guys, it's Erin Hunter here for E with the T to fill you in on all the latest celebrity gossip. It seems Drake is back on his worst behavior after Twitter came after him for calling his baby mama a fluke. Now, if you're unaware of Drake's baby mama drama, let's run it all the way back to 2017 when Drake had a child with former sex worker Sophie Brousseau and kept it so far under wraps that we didn't even know about it until he got into a rap beef with none other than Pusha T. So my thing is, she is a beautiful girl, so she could wear a burlap sack and she would still look great. <laughs> but the thing is, if you are going to go with simple, elegant, nothing like crazy, you need to have it tailored to a T. It was and not. It was think? not tailored to oh. a T. The sleeves were too big. It was too big in the mid waist. The only thing that was great about it was the neckline and the veil and the tiara. That's it. The long two part finale of The Bachelor has left millions of fans cringing and wanting more answers. Let's recap all the juicy details and all. All of Barb's unapproving facials. Guys, guys, stop! Well, season 18 started out with Kim wanting a housewives fight and Courtney giving her full on Bad Girls Club, or at least Rob likes to think so. Welcome back to Eve with the T. I'm Erin Hunter, and let's dive into this Kardashian brawl. Paris Fashion Week has come to a close, but what controversial fabric will everyone be wearing in the next six months? Let's talk latex. Kim Kardashian and sister Kourtney donned highly talked about looks and head to toe Balmain on the way to Sunday service in Paris. I absolutely love this look on Kim, obviously because she has such an unreal body, it just makes it look so effortless. So celebs were already not feeling him after coming back to Twitter expressing his love for Trump. Stars like Russell Simmons, Snoop Dogg, and 50 Cent have disowned mm. him saying they want no part in his foolery, his music, his clothing, nothing. Uh, Prince Charles, the heir to the throne, the next person up when the queen dies, has tested positive for coronavirus. Nick Greggeth, co-host of Greggeth and Hooks, as well as JP and Lauren with Husker Nick, is one of the most listened to men in the city of Lincoln, making him a core piece of sports in the state. It is a hot one out here, but that is not slowing people down from coming out to the Telegraph District where Aloe and Green Splash Brewery are teaming up to create a beer called Gig City. The 28-year-old stuns with a sapphire ring surrounded by smaller diamonds. With a full day of events, there's going to be plenty to anticipate on Friday. It's not like it's anything new to her as she is the first black woman. Can we talk about her making history yes. in Black History Month? She is the first black woman to qualify for the Olympic speed skating team.